What's going on my fellow fuss butts? Zappa the Circle here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. Okay, so there's been a couple of other uh, fuss butts asking me what fandoms I'm into. You know, in addition to the furry fandom because that fandom is a little bit different and I'll get to that in just a second. Because one of the one of the things that you'll notice whenever you're a part of the furry fandom is that there are a lot of sub fandoms and like sub groups and stuff like that within this fandom. Primarily because the furry fandom is a general fandom because like when you think of most fandoms There's like a certain amount of criteria or there's like a certain number like number of things or amount of knowledge that you need to know About that fandom and you know if you don't know the things that you know Then a lot of people can get kind of offended about that and you know I talked about this in a video back in the past But you know I'm gonna elaborate a little bit more on that as it develops all right, so on the screen, you'll see that I'm going to bring up a little chart. It's probably going to be like a pie chart or like a graph or something like that, kind of representing, you know, my entire fandom, fandomness type thing or whatever. You'll notice that a very big part of that chart is anime because I am a very, 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 very big fan of anime. I've been watching anime for a very long time now. And... Uh, a couple of anime that I'm into are anime like, you know, of course there's Death Note, Soul Eater. There's a brand new one that just came out a couple of uh, months ago. It's uh, Asterisk War. That's a really good one. And if you haven't seen anything about that, you should definitely check it out. Especially if you're into, you know, like weapons and action type anime and things of that nature. Because... I, after I watched the first episode, actually, after I watched the trailer for the anime, I was immediately hooked. So, if you're into anime, definitely go, go, go and watch that. <clears throat> now, as you can see that, you know, Furry isn't on the chart because, you know, this is more of the subgroups from the Furry fandom. Well, it's not really from it, but you already know that I'm a part of the Furry fandom, so that's why that's not a part of this graph that you see here. I will also note that there is a small little section where Homestuck is listed. Yes, I was a fan of Homestuck back in the day. I mean, I uh, I read a good little bit of it, not too much of it. I don't read it now, nor do I look into it now. Because the way I see it, you know, the fandom, not the fandom, the fandom <laughs> is one of the main reasons why I kind of steered away from the whole Homestuck uh, subject. Primarily because... Whenever you're cosplaying as a Homestuck character and you see fellow Homestuck characters, they go completely berserk, out of control, and it's, it's just, it's not a good vibe. Like, when you're just trying to, you know, go to a convention or whatever and just have a good time, and they're running up to you, making all these references and stuff like that, and then throwing puns and all that. It's, it's not comfortable, and I really didn't want to associate myself too much with that, so that's why I just kind of steered away from that fandom. But... The storyline that goes with Homestuck is a pretty good story, and, you know, I won't talk too much on that because, you know, I don't need anybody flooding me with all this Homestuck content like, oh, have you read this update here, and did you see what happened there? I will tell you now, no, I have not, because, you know, I just, I choose not to, and there's nothing wrong with that. <sighs> Trying to make sure that that's not a touchy subject. I mean, yes, there's a lot of um, other things on this graph over here, but I'm not going to go into too many details about the smaller things. You'll also notice that I'm not a very big fan of, like, the big three TV shows, the uh, Game of Thrones, Doctor Who, and The Walking Dead. I mean, I've seen a couple of episodes from each, from each of these series, but it just kind of never grabbed me like, you know, more of the animated stuff like that will. Now, Harry Potter! <laughs> That is my stuff right there. Of course, you don't hear me talking about Harry Potter very much because I don't have a whole lot of people to talk to about Harry Potter. So I just kind of keep it to myself, but Pottermore is a very, very big part of who I am. <laughs> oh my God, I could just go on and on, but this video has gone on for quite long enough. So I'm just gonna kind of, you know, leave that to another set, another station. But, yes, this is just kind of a little snippet as to what fandoms I'm a part of because, you know, some of you guys were asking. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So, but before I do, in the comments, you guys can tell me what fandoms you guys are a part of so that we can go ahead and share that little connection like that. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So, if you like this video, then go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can know to post more awesome content in the future. You want to talk to me? 
have some Twitter. You want to stay updated as well as know when the next Q&A is going to be? And for affinity, want to draw fan artists off of the circle? Fan art is always welcome. Keep it clean. But as always, my name is Abba the Sergal, and I'm out of here. <laughs> la, 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 la. This is something that, of course, I've been dealing with for quite a long time now. Is, you know, people, you know, crap talking you just because, you know, there's a certain thing that you like. And I'm just like, why do people even have to be like that? Okay, so I grew up in a very small town in Atlanta, Georgia. And it was, you know, it wasn't a very...